WFMZ.com. Rick Edwards in the 69 News Traffic Center. Rick, thanks. Well, last time he was here, we talked about some year-end tax tips because so many deductions were expiring. This morning, small business owner and columnist Gene Marks is back to talk about some ways to save taxes in 2014. He joins me now to show us the money, Gene. That's right. And let's not forget, I am actually a CPA as well. Right, we that's right. to mention it. Hard yeah. to believe. Some that hat you wear that. has so many different uh, scary, angles there. Scary. So let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, we're going to be proactive and talk how to save some money. Right. Is it pretty easy to do this if we think about the right yeah, things? Yeah, it is. Well, first of all, you've so, okay, we're in 2014, so we're not talking about 2013. Right. We're looking ahead for next yes, year. That's good. And, and look, for you and I, I mean, taxes are a big bite of our income. Yeah. So the Huge more bite. that we, yeah, I mean, <laughs> really, I mean, like, it's very easy to, you find $5 sitting on the street, you're going to grab it. I mean, you can save a lot more if you pay some attention to your taxes. Okay. Right? And so, I know you have six ways we, we should I do. do that. So okay. we need to get through them. So uh, first, let me, let me just start off with one because it just comes immediately to mind yes. about being organized. Right, of okay. course. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people don't pay attention to what the deadlines are for taxes. So okay. remember, April 15th, of course, that's when you're dealing with last year's tax, but it's an estimated payment you have to make poten potentially. Mm -hmm. Same thing in June, same thing in September. You need to know those dates and you need to make your estimated payments on time. Millions are being spent unnecessarily because you're paying interest and penalties when you don't really have to. People just forget to do that. Don't forget to do that. Okay. Have it on your calendar and make your estimate. Yeah, I know you say tax calendar checklist, right? Okay. Exactly so, right. so important. Yep. Okay, secondly, um, don't lose track of those charitable contributions. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of guilty of yeah, that. Yeah, you really are. And, and look, charitable, I, I fully believe that a lot more people will be itemizing their deductions in the future because of health care. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. If you've got more than 6,200 bucks that you're spending individually on what could be itemized deductions, mm -hmm. then you want to itemize them instead of taking like the standard deduction. Anyway. Okay. Charitable contributions are very, very important. You can deduct the charities. And remember, Eve, it's not just cash that you're giving. You can give stuff away. So if you've got old clothes, if you've got old toys lying around, if you've got your old car, yeah. you, know, you can give. There's a lot of charities that will take that. You give it a fair market value, and you can take a deduction for that. It's a good opportunity in 2014 to clean house and then get a tax benefit. Yeah, for something a lot of people might not think about. That's right. You know, some of those big ticket items. How about medical deductions? Mm. Let's talk. This that. is where we're talking about health care expenses. Right. I mean, you know, controversially with, uh, you know, Obamacare, affordable care, yeah. you know, whether it's going to be more money for you and me and our insurance or not. I, I, premiums are going up, and I think a lot more people are going to wind up paying a lot more of deductibles at their employers, unfortunately, and some more out-of-pocket expenses. That's what I predict. Mm -hmm. And if that happens, that's going to bump up the amount of money we're paying for medical expenses, which means we really want to start keeping track of those things. Okay. Because again, we might be spending that much more on medical expense for an entire family, including pharmaceuticals, the trips to the drugstore and all that. We can deduct that stuff if we're over 6,200 bucks for the year. And you know, prior years, that might not have been as big an issue. I think it's gonna become more and more of an issue as the years go on. So start keeping better track of your medical expenses. Even in 2014, if that doesn't affect you, it, it really may start kicking in in 2015 and okay. 2016. So kind of monitoring some of these things now will help us in the future. Correct. How about retirement and college savings, Gene? What do we have to think about in this yeah. department? Well, you know, people sometimes forget that. So, so Eve, like, I've got three kids. Yes. Yeah. All in college. All the, all the same <laughs> year as well. I'm yes. still looking for that fertility doctor, by the way. His name is Abramowitz. You ever together. see him around, all right? Abramowitz. <laughs> so anyway, so they're all in college. But years ago, we started putting money away into a 529 plan. The state of Pennsylvania offers it. Talk to your financial advisor or your accountant about it. Uh -huh. Awesome stuff. You put money away. As long as it's used for higher education, you can take it out. No penalties, no nothing. And when it's growing, it grows completely tax-free. So it's an awesome way to put money away for college education. Not just your kids but also if you want to use it for a higher education as well. So 529 plans are great. And then, of course, there's the IRAs. You know, the president last week in his State of the Union talked about the MyRA accounts. Uh, I'm not such a huge fan of them, but that's a different reason and different story. Okay. You and I, you know, whether your employer's offering it or not, I know these guys are very generous here at Channel 69. <laughs> they are. Uh, but, you know, some employers don't have an IRA uh, or 401k. You can open up an IRA at any bank, okay. right? You can put away 5,500 bucks a year. You can put away small amounts as well grows tax-free, you can take it pre-tax, great way to put money away for retirement and save some money as well. Make that a priority this year. I'm going to start putting money away for retirement and you'll save on taxes at the same time. Okay, win-win. Mm. And we're out of time, but just quickly, two other areas to consider. Child care and giving a gift, which you sort of touched on before. Right? Correct. And just remember, if you have $3,000 in child care expenses, right, you can deduct that. Okay, mm -hmm. so so keep an eye, you know, it's a credit that you can yeah. get, not a deduction, a credit. So if you're if you're somebody else is looking after your child, Eve, um, 
not you, but <laughs> yeah, somebody else. Children, don't worry. Right. Don't children. spread any rumors, Gene. You can, <laughs> uh, you, you can get a tax benefit for doing that. Okay. All right. So keeping an eye on some of these areas could end up saving us some Huge. pretty serious and it's cash. It's January now, so you know smart people think ahead. Yes. Okay. So make those plans for 2014. Tip. Okay. GeneMarks.com for more information. Gene, right. thank you so much. Thank Great you. ideas. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Right this minute, videos first. That's right, that's a porcupine in a gift shop. That is a big porcupine. 